Here we go, part one of uh, my 1000 miles drive on Train Simulator 4, raising funds for Strathlee and Care Home. Uh, and so far, the response has been very, very good. So, thank you for everyone that's contributed. And if you want to contribute, then I'll put a wee link in the description below uh, so that you're able to do that. So, first things first. We are going to uh, drive a few routes in Scotland, uh, and the first of which, uh, hopefully I'll be able to, to, to get it up here just now, and we are going to the sub suburban Glasgow North West area, so we're going to drive this Clydeside Direct, so it's a early morning Scotrail Express service from Helensborough Central to Springburn, so this is a service that's quite a... I think it's still running actually, it's uh, quite popular in the morning and as the title suggests it only stops at certain stops so we'll be able to have a look and see what stops, we will be stopping that uh, when we're driving a service so we start our service at Hillsborough Central and I'll be driving it along the route to Springburn so here we go and we're at Hillsborough Central just now welcome to the early morning express service from Hillsborough Central to Springburn Expect some crowds in the early parts of this journey, but then hope for a clear run to Glasgow. Open the doors to allow passengers to board the train. So that's exactly what I've done. So we'll get the AWS cleared uh, and we'll get the, the day headlights on. So we're ready to rock and roll. Uh, so let's see what, what, what stops we'll be calling at. So, obviously we're at Helensborough, Craig and Doran, Cardress, Dalryuch, Dumbarton Central, Dumbarton East, then we're non-stop to Jordan Hall, Patrick, eh, Patrick, pa Patrick, 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 <laughs> Charing Cross, eh, Glasgow Queen Street, High Street, and eh, Springburn, arriving in approximately an hour from now, and that's where we will be concluding this video. So, as you see, that's our kind of briefing, and... Uh, our next stop will be Craig and Doran. Uh, so we've opened the pass a uh, door for the passengers. So the passengers are boarding, and this is what it looks like outside. Just mean the wall. There we are. Here's me in the front. Springburn Limited stop. Uh, uh, passengers on the other end of the platform. Uh, is there meant to be on this end? <laughs> Unless we picked them all up. Uh, so it's fairly, if you've never seen a train simulator before, it is very detailed in actual fact. Uh, and this is obviously Helensborough Central. Uh, and uh, you're able to, to kind of, the, the scenery is quite dense uh, out with the kind of tracks. So it's not just a track, the track, the whole kind of scenery is it. Uh, obviously, I'll be declaring we're not uh, on the train yet, we've not even moved. There's a train there. Uh, the footbridge, which is quite evident. I uh, don't know what this is actually. Uh, maybe somebody could answer me if they're up that way. What is that? Because that's always something that I see when I'm going on the street in Ellensburg. I'll occasionally bump into that. So anyway, we're waiting for our departure from Ellensburg Central. And that... Uh, is scheduled to be at 8.04 so come on we're probably running a wee bit late already there's <laughs> something you don't see a Scotrail service running late so next stop obviously will be Crane Dorn at uh, 8.07 approximately and that's the boarding finished passengers are now boarded to the train please proceed to the next timetable stop which is at Crane Dorn so release the brakes and just uh, power up to power 2 and the uh, actual power gauge uh, 50 ml per hour out with the uh, Helensburgh Central so we'll just kind of slow the power down as we reach that 15 ml 15 minute per hour uh, speed mark so I'm going to make sure that I'm trying to keep the speed uh, in fact I'm, I need to check because we are a th are we a three car? Yeah, we are a three car. That's okay because obviously if I'm, if I'm a six car, then I need to I need to stop further up the platforms. But I'm only a three car, so three car stop will be satisfactory enough. 
so the passengers can alight and board the train safely. So as you can see, we're still 15 mile an hour coming out to Ellensborough Central Station. Uh, shouldn't it be 40 mile an hour uh, when this board comes away? Uh, and we're quite near the crown dawn already. As we look to that 40 mile an hour, uh, so I'll be able to speed up a wee bit now. Uh, 40 mile an hour, limit now in progress. So I'll speed up and we'll get head to our first stop, which is Craigendorn. The first of a few stops in my challenge to 1000 miles for Strathfield and Kerholm. Uh, for the resident funds and as I say I'll leave a wee, a wee bit in my bio down below if you want to contribute to. And there's the dog barking as well telling you to obviously donate what you can. <laughs> so I'm just going to apply a small amount of breakage here as we're about to approach or pull into Craigendorn uh, uh, station. Probably braked a wee bit too early to be honest with you, but we've got 40 seconds yet to, to reach our station and we're just going up to it right now, so... If I remember rightly, I think the stop board is at near the end of the platform, so there's not a kind of one that's nearest to me, so the three car stop is with the six car stop sign if you're into railways, which you know most of you probably won't be, but there's a wee fun fact for you. Yeah, it's a wee down at the end, look. So we're doing the end of the platform and we're running approximately 30 seconds late. Surprise, surprise. I don't really need to go right up to the full board actually, so we'll just grind the train down to a stop and open the door so the passengers can depart from the train if they want to do so or come on board the train. So there we go, that's our first stop. Get a wee photo of that. And it's a uh, and Dorn. So a couple of seconds here before we get moving again. And the next stop will be Cardus. So if you are watching, give us a wee subscribe, give us a wee thumbs up. Or just give me some encouragement, post me a wee comment. Uh, that would be very, very welcomed. So to proceed to our next stop which I said is Cardus and we're scheduled to arrive at Cardus around about 13 minutes past 8 I say around about because I'm already running late so if you're not familiar with the area uh, towards your left hand side just coming up is a line that branches off to the West Highland line which will be one of the routes that I'll be participating in uh, in this fundraiser because I've got a thousand miles to do so I'll be looking to trek up that way as I make my way up to Fort William and Oban uh, and I'll be doing that uh, to, to try and make up my miles uh, so there's a the line to the left hand side as you can see it's not electrified so we've got the DMUs usually usually it's a 156 that does uh, travel up there and I think we've got a train waiting to go into the, the branch of the Helensworth section so which is not surprising because usually at this time it is the case that we do get some traffic quite a lot of traffic coming up to rush hour of course as uh, simulated so we have a clear line and we've now approached the 60 mile an hour speed limit now as we're well out into the kind of main line now between uh, Helensburgh and uh, Dalryach As predicted, yeah, there's a train down here, 
and I'll be waiting obviously for me to clear the lines so that can go up to Helensborough. So one thing about this route is it's got many, many It's got many, many uh, level crossings. Of course I'm gonna whistle the whistle my uh, horn uh, at ten past eight in the, the morning and it looks like as if it's gonna rain actually. Well that's a surprise, eh? No, oh, it's just went bright again. Okay. So as you can see there's a bit, a bit of distance between Craigendorn and Cadros, it's went dark again so I think the rain will be hitting us soon enough. So you can see there, but it also tells you in the bottom left hand corner it says Cadros platform 1, below that it gives us a rough time of when we will uh, <coughs> arrive at Cadros and it tells you how many miles I've got to go until I reach my destination. So just now it's telling us that we should reach there at approximately 08.13.29 which I will be quite happy with that. I've made a bit of time back. Another whistle board. I don't think I'll wake up many neighbours with that one. Uh, as you can see it's not very well populated this part of the route. See there's roughly about four or five whistleboards between Helensbra and Ulrich, so it's quite quite populated. And um, we'll soon be coming into Cardo Station now. Keeps going light and dark. I don't know if that's a problem with the graphics. This is just due to the fact how there's probably so much farmland about here. That's why they have so many level crossings. So I'm going to apply some brake, uh, some brake, uh, uh, so we can safely stop at Cardo Station to allow passengers to alight and come onto the train. This is about the noise the annoying station of them all because you get the the sound of the level crossing uh, until we depart from Cardus. It can be a wee bit annoying. Yeah, it's quite loud as well. So we're just about on time now. Brilliant. Days. I thought about 15 seconds late, but made up for the time. I don't know if you can actually hear any of the, the background uh, sounds of the game, but I think you'll be quite happy that you can, <laughs> especially at this bit. Uh, so, Cardus stopped here, and roughly about 10 seconds late, as I said. So, again, Venture near uh, the hometown of Dumbarton. So, next stop will be Dalriach, which is in Dumbarton, incidentally. Uh, so, we're arriving at Dalriach at approximately 818. So, we'll get away and I won't blow the horn at this one, because as you can see, we've got a few more houses uh, catered about. So I've roughly calculated this one and it's about 20 miles, 20-21 uh, miles, uh, so we're off to a slow but steady start. <laughs> that sky looks on quite, uh, yeah, quite apparent, doesn't it? It's going to start bucketing down, as the expression is in Scotland. And we did a tell you, lo and behold, so put the wipers on. 
just make sure that the rain keeps away from my windshield so I can see what I'm doing. So uh, it's just spitting, so it's not too bad. Usually when we get a shower like this it'll turn into something quite heavier. So we'll be getting into a 30 mile per hour speed limit soon as we approach the uh, the rear station. As you can see the 30 port has now appeared so about, uh, roughly about 2 mile now from rear station at this point. And we'll be looking to apply the brakes very soon so we stay within that 30 mile, 30 mile an hour limit. As we're doing this Springburn Limited stop service, raising funds for uh, Strathclyde Leaving Care Home for the residents' funds. So as you can see, the next three stations are quite tightly packed together. So we have Dalryuk, Dumbarton Central, and Dumbarton East, all within a mile of each other. Round about a mile. And we keep roughly towards that 30 mile per hour speed limit. So that's the wee AWS warning. Just telling us that it is coming up to 30 mile an hour speed limit shortly. And I should maybe think about applying my brakes. Just take it down to 50 just now. As we're going through the tunnel here. Thirty forty five, and then forty coming into the tunnel. Switch your wipers off just now. Don't need them when you're going through our air uh, tunnel. So I'm near near enough there or thereabouts with the thirty mile an hour limit. We'll just take it down to thirty now. So we're but well within the boundaries when we come into Dalry Station. And the three board stop sign at Dalry Station is quite uh, it comes quite quickly. So again, you need to be on the map with your brakes and such. So if you've managed to stay with us for the 17 minutes, well done you. <laughs> well, I'm talking, rambling on a lot of rubbish. All for a good cause, all for a good cause. I'm going to put on the wipers again, because we are coming out of the tunnel now. And as you guessed, typical Scottish weather, it's still raining. So the left hand side here. Uh, as you'll be able to see in just a few seconds is the branch line and it takes you to Balloch. Again, that'll be another place that we will venture out to during this uh, 1000 mile challenge uh, for the residents of Strathlean Care Home to get some funds for much needed activities. Uh, so it'll be really good uh, to, to get out that way. You've got three stops there, uh, Renton, Alexandria and Balloch. So we're coming into Dalry Station now. Again, just going to apply that brake because as you can see the three stop car stop line is just coming up now. And we want to make sure that we're stopping just about in the reach of it as well. And hey ho, we're arriving just on time as well. Which is a bonus. And I'll bring the train to a stop now that we have cleared the three car stop sign. And open the doors to allow passengers to board or alight from the service. So again, as you can see, we're through a train uh, on platform 2, which will be going to Balch because it's got the wee feather indicator on with the green signal. So we'll be expecting that train to come imminently. Obviously it was waiting for me to clear the line so it can go. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's just at Dumbarton Central just now. And we'll maybe pass it as we... What are we? Towards Dumbarton Central. Which is where we're off to now. And as you can see, as I said, the stations in Dumbarton are quite closely knit together. So again, it shows whether with us, you know, uh, we're, we're just approaching Dumbarton Central now after we cross this viaduct. So I'm not gonna not gonna speed up too much because I'll be hitting the brakes soon enough and we should see the train bin for Balch and there it is. 
Yep, and that will be making its approach to Balch. Uh, that technically stops at all stations. Uh, Dalriach, Brentna, Brenton, Alexandria and Balch. If you're not clued up on trains after watching these videos, <laughs> let, me, let me tell you, I think you will be, put it that way. So this is our station. Well, no my station, but if I'm getting a train, this is the station I would usually go to. As you can see, it's quite realistic. If you've never seen Train Simulator before, that is very realis realistic. We'll not be staying exclusive into this area, of course. We will be venturing out. Uh, we will be venturing out to the Fife Circle Line. Also, we'll be doing the Glasgow to Edinburgh Line uh, and to the return leg. And we probably going to be doing the Edinburgh to Newcastle line as well. So there we are, arriving at the Barton Central uh, for this limited stop service on a busyish rush hour. See, they're all gabbing and talking, if you can't hear it. So we're stopping here. Let's see what we've done so far. So. I've seen that we've been on time at every station, which I know is probably a white lie, but hey ho. So we're stopping here, we're scheduled to stop for two minutes. Uh, I don't know why, no apparent reason, but obviously it's because I think the next station will be Dumbarton East and then we go non stop from Dumbarton East to Jordan Hill, which is quite rare actually. Uh, there's not a lot of trains that do do that. Because uh, usually some of the trains do stop at Dalmuir, which is the main kind of hub. But uh, with this service, it's a kind of special service in that it just stops at uh, Dumbarton East uh, before going all the way to Jordan Hill. And in fact, that's our next scheduled stop. We're at a 60 mile an hour limit. Uh, soon going to be 40 as we just pull out the station. So again, we'll keep to, keep to the boundaries, but as you can see there, it's not going to be long before we get into Dumbarton East Station. I'm loving how the signals work on this, honestly, it's really, really good. As you can see, at the left hand side is uh, the Meadow Centre. And we are just down here at the corner, Strathleen Care Home, we're around about here. So there you are, we're around about here. So that's a wee, a wee kind of detail to where we are. So we've hit the 40 mile an hour speed limit and again I'll we'll just allow the train to coast which is not applying any speed or any brake until we pull in to near enough the platform at Dumbarton station. At the uh, left hand side is Dumbarton Academy and St. Patrick's Schools, and then we'll soon be seeing Easties, which is the term used for uh, the AstroTurf pitch at uh, the Bartonese, which is called East End Park, which is there, there. There, there, which is there, there. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to apply some more brake as we pull into our last scheduled stop for a wee while, because our next stop, uh, as I've mentioned, about 13 times already. Not that I've been counting, as a uh, Jordan Hill. Just need to break a wee bit heavy there. In order just to try and keep within the stops uh, that are scheduled. Oh! That can't be me, that's, that guy's got a heat of hair. Uh, so again, I'm having a wee venture out, where we get the stag's head there. Dumbarton East, busy Glasgow Road. Well, not busy Glasgow Road, should I say. And Dumbarton East in its all, all its glory. As we are now going non stop to uh, Jordan Hill. So, the next time table stop will be Jordan Hill. Hopefully, you'll get a clear run, but congestion isn't unheard of at this time of the day. Which certainly is the case in real life, so. Again, we're still at a 40 mile per hour speed limit as we venture out of the station. So just need to be 
a mill here with that. We'll not break too, too uh, not speed up too fast. Uh, we'll soon be hitting a 55 mile an hour limit. But until then we'll speed up to the 60. Uh, as we are 10 miles away from our next station which is Jordan Hill. As you can see the 30 mile per hour speed limit has appeared. Again, we'll max up to 60 mile an hour. Without any problems. So the stations that we will be going by imminently will be Bowling, followed by Kilpatrick. And then we have the main terminus which is down here. All three of which we will be passing. So it's starting to brighten up a wee bit, so hopefully with any luck. We'll maybe be able to switch the wipers off, but typical Scottish day really. The main schedule arrival time at Jordan Hill is 0839. Should make that on time, given if we get a clear run through. As you can see, we're just coming up to this 55 mile an hour. So I have levelled it down to around about 54. Gives you the exact speed that I'm going. We'll just make sure that it stays up to 55 so we're not going. Uh, out with our scheduled time because if I go at 53 or 52 you know it might make me because a wee bit late so Milton Animal Home a uh, travel lodge at the left hand side uh, Milton just is a small village before Bowling quite a nice wee place actually uh, Milton Used to have a really nice uh, place for the kids to go. Socks and slides, that's it. I'm trying to remember the name there, that was well remembered. Yeah, it was a cracking place for the kids to go. But, uh, unfortunately, it's closed down as far as I'm aware. Uh, I don't know what it is now, actually. So, coming up to Bowen Station any minute now, and we're back up to the 60 mile an hour speed limit. So, again, I'll accelerate to the 60 mile an hour. And we'll coast at that. Just give them a wee bustle to let the passengers know that the train is not stopping here. Stand well clear of the platform. Fast train approaching. <laughs> so, I was saying it looks like as if it's clearing up, but it doesn't appear to be. It seems to be getting darker and darker. Just make out there on the, the right hand side uh, the Erskine Bridge, which connects uh, Dumbarton, Clydebank to Glasgow, Paisley, and surrounding areas. So we've got a sharp incline here, and in, uh, if you're interested in the descents that we're doing, <laughs> so it's got a sh uh, quite a significant incline here. Uh, so we're going up a hill, really, if you want the, the non-technical term for it. And we'll continue to be roughly on time, actually. We're running quite quite early. Because, uh, as it says there, on a wee bar, we're scheduled to arrive at Jordan Hill at 0839. But just now, the way things are, it's 0838.25. Don't want to be too early, and then I'm hanging about. We'll be shortly coming up to Kilpatrick Station. Again, this will be another station that we do pass. We'll be stopping here. As we're hitting the 60 mile an hour limit again. Just the last one before we get downhill a wee bit, so we'll take the power off and let the train coast as we get past Kilpatrick Station, which is right below eh, the Erskine Bridge. So, 
the next station will pass is the main terminus and that is Dalmuir an R train approaching which will likely be going to Helensborough I would think so we'll keep a wee eye on the speed as you can see there it's gradually increasing because we are going downhill as we make our way towards Dalmuir station we are going to be hitting a 40 mile an hour speed limit in a second so I'll just break the round so we can meet that 40 mile an hour limit and we'll be branching off to the lane via Yoka Ah nice, we've got a green signal and we're now on the 40 mile an hour speed limit as we approach Darm Muir. You can just see this, the sidings at the, the right hand side and one of our actual scenarios that we'll be doing is a, we'll be actually going into that siding and reversing out it again which is quite good. So we'll make our way past down Muir Station, which does have the five platforms. On an eastbound trajectory, both of which do serve uh, via Yoga, and the other two will serve stations at Via Singer, which again we will be visiting during my my task to raise funds for the residents at Strathlin Care Home, and if you are going to donate. Any amount of donation will be greatly appreciated by the residents and by all staff as well. So, next stop, uh, as I say, is Jordan Hill. Roughly about four miles, so not that long until we get to Jordan Hill. We will be going past stations like Clay Bank, Yokar, and Cascaden as well as Scotson Hill before our arrival into Jordan Hill. So we are past the 40 mile an hour limit, we are now at 60 mile an hour so again I'm just going to speed up uh, so we can get to that 60 mile an hour as we're just approaching Claybank just now. To the left hand side, I think I'll maybe turn that around so we can see when we go into Claybank train station you'll see the Clyde shopping centre has been a quite a well known figure in Clay Bank as various animities like uh, the theatre cinema uh, and well the leisure centre it used to be called the Playdrome but that's no longer they've built a new one uh, down next to the college in Queen's Keys it's called there's a shopping centre there left hand side so yeah quite nice So again, as you can see, three miles now till we get to our destination, which is indeed uh, Jordan Hall. So, looks quite okay just now. Not it doesn't seem to be too congested, which is good. Uh, particularly at this time of the day, because it is rush hour. And I may have spoken too soon. Well, you never know. I may get a clear run through. Might be nice. I don't think so. But we'll wait and see. Oh, and I talk too soon. Okay, so we've got a double yellow. Which means that the next signal is likely to be yellow. Uh, and then we get a red sometimes as well, so. Just basically telling us that the line isn't clear ahead or we have to go at line speed at a double yellow and I'm sure my good friend John will correct me if I'm wrong on that one probably a Stolton eh, service that's up ahead of us and obviously we are what roughly about a minute early so timings are quite quite a eh, thing mate at this time of the day quite neat that's what I was looking for
okay we're yellow so I better, better pull the brakes on because I know that the next signal is pretty quick after this one so I'm lightening it to be a red up ahead yep and it is indeed a red signal so usually the rule of red signals is you can only approach it at a 15 mile an hour speed limit so again we'll certainly do that keep within the, the rules and boundaries and then obviously it will change once the line goes clear again we'll probably get a, a single yellow signal which will indicate that we can proceed to, to the next signal and to there we go that has changed so now we can apply some speed and our next signal will be at Scotson Hill this is Gascadden this station which again will not be stopping that as you can see the V exclamation mark uh, basically means that obviously it's something that wants the driver's attention and in this case as we need to, we need to acknowledge that the signal isn't clear and we're acknowledging that obviously we know that the line or the next signal ahead is likely to be at red which indicates that we need to stop so again just going to put some brake apply some brake uh, just to make sure that we're keeping in the boundaries I think that might have changed actually to a yen was it tell you I think I'm getting blind Yeah, it's just changed the other now. It was at red, but it's a yellow now. <laughs> so again, it means that we can proceed to the next signal. Uh, so the next stop will be our scheduled stop, which is Jordan Hill. As we're going past Scotchin Hill at the moment. And to your right hand side, we will shortly see Scotchin Hall Stadium. Which is renowned for hosting major athletic games or even the odd rugby game so we'll get a double yellow which is good news because that means we can speed up a wee bit more and after this one, after a signal ahead we'll get a further one before we reach our uh, station Still got about two minutes to go anyway before we were, were reaching our time we need to be at the station so it's not surprising at this time of the day that we're kind of behind a, another train and another service should I say. We're hitting a 50 mile per hour uh, speed limit. Again this signal's coming up pretty quick. It would be a wise call to apply the brakes on this occasion. Just keeping it at that kind of coasting weight at the moment. The signal up ahead is a yellow. So that's good, that means that we can coast into Jordan Hill, our next schedule stop, and arrive there on time, which is always good to see. So we'll all be reaching a 14 mile per hour speed limit in a couple of seconds. can actually branch off to the signal line from here. This usually happens when the train or a train comes into service from Yoker Depot and it's maybe forming a Mogai service or it's needing to go into the via signal line for whatever reason. Uh, but normally it's to, to obviously to make the button to, to form a Mogai service. So again keep within the boundaries signal up ahead, likely to be red 
So again, we need to keep within the current guidance, which will be a 15 mile per hour limit, where we're at just now. And we'll just slowly trail our way into Jordan Hill, which is our stop since Dumbarton East. And I'll reset the AWS. Obviously, again, as I said, just indicating that we are a uh, that there is a red signal ahead is and I can turn off the wipers so the rain has stopped and we'll stop in this three car platform so up ahead is the quite quite busy train on the network which is Jordan Hill uh, so this is where the line meets from Singer You'll notice these wee flower beds, these are quite unique to, to Scotrail. Uh, they're quite nice and they can be seen all across the network. Let's just have a wee look and see uh, as we're here. So this is the line to Singer. As you can see there is a train due to come round there before we get clearance to go. Which is just coming round the corner now. Okay, we need to wait until so it's the damn year of your singer train. That went. So we all just wait until that train clears. Give it a few moments. Yeah, because what we'll do is we'll wait until it comes down, we'll get a wee a wee nice shot of it coming up. So I will release the brakes and pull the train out because we should have clearance now. If I don't, I'll end the game, <laughs> which will be a great start. Uh, to, to the challenge. Should be okay though. And our next stop will be Partick. So, next stop here, which we will not be calling that, I'll be Highland. So again, just need to be careful, because we did get that yellow signal before, didn't we? Getting way ahead of myself. Yeah, we'll just have a wee look. It is a yellow signal, so we're okay. it's a double yellow so we can proceed at line speed so we'll go up to the 40 again and that should in fact it's just turned green so the, the train that was ahead is must have been via exhibition centre so the line's clear for us to any party which we're scheduled to arrive there at 0843 It might not be clear at all because we've got a double yellow ahead. I thought that turned green actually. Could I have sworn it turned green? Never mind. Yeah, there we are. That one's turned green. Oh, 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 oh. Speed in, speed in. Ah, I've done so well to. Didn't think I would speed, but there you are. <laughs> Too carried away with that green signal. That's what it was. And the rain looks like it's going to come back on again. As we venture into Partick. Got a green signal ahead. Which is good. So while we're at party, I'll tell you a good few things about party, or, or at least I'll try to. This is the first stop that we've reached that has obviously the subway down below, and again we will be looking at the Glasgow subway, 
on this challenge. We're doing full, two full circles of the Glasgow subway. Uh, and that train is going to Dumbarton Central via Yoka. Yeah, so uh, we'll be doing two full runs of the Glasgow subway. Uh, that's to become as part of a challenge that I'm doing. I've already said it, you know, but it's worth saying again for Strathfield and Care Hall, for the residents, for our funds. And I'll leave a link to the Just Giving page if you want to donate anything. No matter how little or small you want to donate, everything, every single penny makes a difference. And we thank you again for, for doing that. If you are making a contribution, so the the routes that we'll be doing, uh, just brought it up, up the list of them here, is a uh, open to Glasgow Queen Street, uh, both ways, which is 111 miles point eight. So 111 miles point eight uh, for Glasgow Queen Street to open. We've got. Airdrie to Balloch and then uh, Balloch to Airdrie which is 80.8 .8 miles between the two we've got Mulgatty Spring Burn which is 10 miles uh, and then Spring Burn to Mulgatty get Helensburg to Bell Grove which is 44 miles and that includes the Bell Grove to Helensburg leg as well uh, we've got Exhibition Centre to Dalmuir uh, and then Dalmuir uh, Exhibition Centre Dalmuir which is 16 miles Yoker Depot to uh, Mulgai and then the Exhibition Centre which is 14.2 miles and then Glasgow Subway as I said two full circles which works out 12.4 uh, mil Edinburgh to Glasgow, Glasgow to Edinburgh 51.4 mil Fort William to Glasgow and Glasgow to Fort William which is 109 the face circle twice 65 miles and then finishing off with Edinburgh to Newcastle uh, which equals 1057 miles so as you can see the dome there uh, towards your right hand side is the Scottish Exhibition and Conference Centre the old Armadillo and the new one here as well we also have BBC Scotland along the lines at Pacific Key. So as we branch off to our next stop, which will be which will be arriving at imminently, is a Charing Cross, and we're scheduled to arrive here in about a minute's time. So we do go under 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 the tunnel. Oh oh! And guess what? The train is coming to a halt. I have no idea. Sorry, reset it up. Oops! <laughs> Could only happen to me. And that's the first. Go to help the passengers in this challenge, by the way. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Ah, oh, well, never mind. That was going to happen. We'll start to apply the brakes now. Not the emergency brakes, of course, but the actual brakes as we approach Charing Cross Station. And we've got the main Glasgow Queen Street Station as well after this one, which we will be calling that. As you can see, the tunnel just ends here at the top.
Well, there we go. Open the doors. So if you do have Train Simulator, I need to give a wee shout out to the original creator of the route and it had significant influence in new updated uh, new updated uh, route and that's Ian Mackay so shout out to him because obviously this route wouldn't have existed if it wasn't from his sterling work you know and it's probably he's it's not probably I know he spent quite a lot of an effort on it, you know, and as I say, without that effort being done, I don't think this route would have existed at the moment. So our next stop will be Glasgow Queen Street. Again, this is where you're more likely to get routes at the high level, up to Fort William, Auburn, Aberdeen. Inverness, Dumblain, and as I say, we will be taking a venture along some of the routes in this challenge. It's part of this challenge. It's part of this challenge, should I say? Okay. And we should arrive at Annick Queen Street on time. I've not got an idea where the three car stop was not. I don't think it has one actually. Probably not. Is there a train coming in yet? Yeah there was. Where's that train going to? No guy. So Two more stops to go. We've got the next one, which is High Street, and then one more stop to Glasgow. Not Glasgow, Springburn. So where I go into Springburn will be uh, roughly eight minutes past nine, was it? Only well, nine o'clock. Top of the hour. Usually we've got a wee wait here at Queen Street because it is a main terminus for trains. Just allows any passengers that are coming down from the higher level to come down and catch the service that they need to at lower level. I'll keep my brakes on, I'll show you pull out. Okay. As you can see, the next stop is High Street, which is quite closely knitted uh, together with Queen Street, so for you know it will be a High Street. And we're at a 40 mile an hour speed limit until we get to after kind of junction at Belgrove where we're going to a 30 mile an hour plummet. Again shortly arriving into High Street which will be indeed our last final stop before we reach our destination which is Springburn.
Ich bin auf der Rennstart wieder gehen, ich meine schon. Ich denke, ich habe mich auf. Mann, die erste Hase sind die. Okay, da wird was an. Okay, ein Baum, ne? Du hast da was denn? Tell you, passt das die Brot. So, see you next time we do, we'll be going to pass it just off. As the depart truck the train for the last time. As we reach our terminus, which is Springburn. I think it's about six miles from here to Springburn. I could be wrong. That's a guess. That's a guess, by the way. Not an accurate figure, but we'll soon find out in a minute. It's good. But actually, half of that, it's uh, three miles, so, to go to be reach uh, Springburn. So not too, not too long at all. Another five odd minutes. So, of course, we need to pass several stations before we get to our last stop, which is Springburn. First of which is Belgrove, then it's Duke Street, Alexander Parade, Burnhill, uh, finally terminating at Springburn. Belgrove, Duke Street are the stations that you would generally alight for Celtic Park. So again we're at a kind of 30 limit, right the way through until we get past Duke Street. And then it goes up to a 40 mile an hour limit. And we'll be like that until we get to Barnhill and then it drops down to a 50 mile an hour. But Barnhill and Springburn are quite closely knit together. The stations are quite close together, especially if you're going via Springburn. So Belgrove is the station up ahead. And then before you know it you'll you'll notice that we're 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 into Duke Street. And the feather indicates that we are going off to the branch line to Springburn. Feather is shining quite bright actually, which is good. Because then I can see it clearly. So the line forward is if you were heading off to Airdrie, Drumgallow or indeed Edinburgh and you're going via the low level. Don't know why you would do that though because the high level is a lot faster. As you can see there is some gradient here so it's all uphill until uh, we get to about Alexander Parade where it kind of aims itself out again. So a couple of turns to get through and then we'll be going past Duke Street. Obviously because of that leverage, leverage I'm going to accelerate a wee bit so we're able to, to get through what we need to get through. Last thing I'm going to say, if you want to show your support to what I'm doing, I'm doing a thousand mile drive along challenge for the residents at Strathlean Care Home, uh, where I work. It's for their resident funds to purchase things that would be meaningful for them. So if you do want to donate anything you can, no matter how small, I'll leave the link down at the bio. So it'll be down below for you. It's a just given page. As I say, donate what you can. Any donations are greatly received and they will uh, be spent wisely. So we just went past Alexander Parade there. Uh, so our next stop will be uh, Springburn obviously, but we've got one more station to go for that and that will be Barn Hill. As you can see we get to a 25 mile an hour limit which is very quickly turned into a 15, mi 15 mile an hour. As we're still kind of going up out, as I say, after the kind of Alexander Parade, it starts to even itself out. 
So the signal up ahead is indicating a caution signal because we are coming near a station stop. In fact, that's why there's another signal up ahead, but because there were a, obviously a train coming at a spring burn, we need to wait until that one comes out, so the signal should be clear. But, as per usual, I need to take it. Take it slow. So, I scored at 898, which will probably go up if I arrive in time at Springburn. Not too bad. I'm quite happy with that for a start. Considering we had the emergency brakes going, we were speeding. <laughs> speeding once, which will nobody, nobody first, nobody last time. Count me on that one. So, again, I'm just going to allow the train to coast now. 10A, the 25 mile an hour speed limit. I'm fully expecting this signal up ahead will be clear. Which it's not. Which it is now. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. I think it must have heard me. Just reset the AWS. Again, allowing the train to coast as a 50 mile an hour limit. As we come into Springburn, of course where the train will terminate and uh, we indicate that top signal indicates that we're scheduled to begin into platform 3. My sparks coming off the pantograph, it's nice. If you're into that kind of thing. <laughs> Yeah, it used to be the old railway works there, at the left hand side there. I don't know if it still gets used. Maybe John, you'll be able to elaborate on that. John is a driver for ScotRail, so he's a man I tap into a wealth of knowledge. Great man as well. As I say, 50 mil an hour now. And we'll soon enough be bringing the train into a stop. I'm going to just go a wee bit faster here because obviously we're coasting at about 10 mile an hour when we could be going at 15. 